okay, okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode nine Woo! of Real yeah. Hawk. I got Cam, uh, phew, Luke to my left, actually. Cam to my right. Nelly Dab. Uh, let's kick things off with college football. See what I did there. Oh, I get it. Get it. That would mean no, that would more sense. Oh yeah, like kick off. Okay. Right. If yeah. It was like soccer. Kick it off. Yeah. Whatever. Um. So the Heisman was this past weekend. Yeah. Baker Mayfield won. No surprise there. But the real big conversation I wanted to have before was who was going to come in second. So I thought that was more interesting than who was actually going to win because everyone knew who was going to win. I thought Bryce Love would come in second over Lamar Jackson. There were a couple people that thought Lamar Jackson. There was one person, I'm not going to say their name because it's despicable, who actually thought Lamar Jackson was going to win. So uh, <laughs> Wait, who came in second? Bryce Love. So why are you saying? I don't, know, I don't even know why. You, okay, never mind. All right, whatever. So, it was, what are your reactions to the Heisman? I guess. No, it's not surprising. I started coming from a mile away. I, <laughs> I started I only started, a mile. I started down the hallway. I'm like, oh, there it is. She's gonna get it. Yeah, I all mean, right. we all said last week that we thought um, Baker Mayfield was gonna win. Yeah. And he deserved it. He deserved it. Yeah. He's probably going to win the national championship. <coughs> no, 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 no. Well, no, they will. No, 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 no. We'll be back on this. Yeah, game. blown out. All right. Sweet. All right. All right, so we're going to pick some games. Bowl games coming up this week. Bowl mania. Capital Starting one. off, baby. Capital, Capital one. one. Have a day. Uh, let's see. Obviously, the uh, the bad games, bad bowl games are going to be first. So Which ones are we? Wait, we're you guys might not be very we're interested. We're predicting every bowl. Not every bowl. Not every bowl. Let's just pick. Close the pool. <laughs> so, uh, let's go to the first one. We'll kick it off. Boise State versus Oregon. Luke, who's going to win? They are in playing in the Las Vegas Bowl. Boise State. <laughs> Honestly, though, o- Oregon, they were in the playoffs a couple years ago. Now they're in the Las Vegas Bowl. It's uh-huh. only down from here. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, uh, Cam. I have to go with Oregon. They had a down season last year. Now they're back on the map. Las Vegas Bowl's back on the map. They, did, they weren't in a bowl last year. <laughs> well, mine is. They beat BC. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Next quiz. Next quiz. Okay. What's your pick, Derek? Oh, I didn't even pick yet. Uh, <laughs> who'd you pick, Oregon? Yeah. I'm going Boise State. Uh, I think. Uh, I remember way back when, about six years ago, when Boise State was actually nice. I think they were pretty good. They had. They were like always undefeated. But the Mountain West, not saying much, but <laughs> just want to go back to those days. Boise State, they got the blue field. They got the blue jerseys. They got some orange. Orange. I, it's orange. I, I like them. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce this one. The uh, Cherubundi Tart Cherry Boca Ratten Bowl. Raton. Raton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that again. The Cherry Bundy Tart Cherry Boca Raton Bowl, <laughs> yep, uh, bowl. featuring Akron <laughs> at FAU. Cam, who's gonna win? Uh throw records out the window, right? Everything's throw it all out the window. <laughs> Florida Atlantic's gonna win because they're playing at their home stadium in a bowl, which doesn't make sense, but they are. All right, Cam. I mean, uh, Luke, <laughs> not having it today. Uh, there's a little little kid by the name of LeBron from Akron. <laughs> Look where he is now. Acrobat. Yeah, remember when I said that? And <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going FAU. I think they were 10-3 and three this year. Yeah. Won their championship game. Lane Kiffin, former Bama uh, offensive coordinator. You didn't know that true fan, I can tell. Not yeah, sure. Not, he's not a Bama fan either. Not, yeah. just another Bama okay. than LSU. <laughs> All right, stop. All right. Uh, the R&L Carriers New Orleans Bowl featuring yep. Troy in North Texas. Why? Okay. <laughs> um, what? Where is this one? Troy, because that name, I like that name, Troy. Okay, this one is in New Orleans. So No, no, no. What day is it on? This is on uh, Saturday. This Saturday. So Luke, who's going to win? Troy. Troy. Oh, it's at the top. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to have to you. go with Troy. Troy, okay. Because I read a book about their basketball team beating Michigan State, even though it didn't happen, so that's why I'm Okay. Uh, that was probably the most boring college football we've talked about. We're done. Why don't Why aren't we doing like the big? Oh, because we can oh, wait. They're, oh, they're, yeah, that's right. I was so confused. Idiot. All right, yeah. Okay. Uh, so college basketball, real quick. 
Saturday, BC beat number one Duke. Are you watching that game? Well, I was watching. Really great game. Well, this dude acts like he plays. Great game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good game though. <laughs> right, I just said I watched it, so how would I play? Right, I'm, not, I'm just not good. All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> did you watch the game, Cam? I did not. I was working. All right. Well, Luke watched the game. Well, what were your thoughts I know, on the I game? I mean, I know what happened. It was a great game. You know. <laughs> yeah. no, I, like, I only—I gotta be honest. I only watched like the last four minutes because yeah. I looked on my phone because I knew we were playing. Uh, BC was playing Duke today. And that, Saturday. that day, yeah. I got well, you. I, go, I go, you good, you good, you good. Intense. You good, you good. And I looked because I—I th- like thought they were gonna get blown out. I looked. Oh, we're up by four. Oh, I should tune in. Tuned in. Great, great finish. You know, but one thing I did notice so when the. When they won and all the fans stormed the court, they the turned lights the lights off. off yeah. yeah, they did it so they wouldn't do that. Yeah, that helped to that zero helped. percent. I don't know. Administration. <laughs> yeah, it was a great win for BC. So it's BC was up by like four at halftime. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's nice. But you always saw. Good I, for them. I, but no, I was I like, I was I like, saw, Duke saw, will end up winning by yeah, twenty. I saw, I saw the halftime. And I was like, yeah. okay, that happens all the time. Yeah. And it's Duke. They'll end up winning by twenty. Whatever. But BC. It got down to like six minutes left, and BC was only down three. And I was like, okay. The first time and then it was two minutes left. They were up four. I was like, ooh. You got to remember, they beat number one Syracuse like 2014. Yeah, and Syracuse was undefeated. Six. But they shot 58% yeah. from three points. Yeah, that kid Kai Brown, he had like 26 points the or something. The jerseys were fresh, too. Yeah, the jerseys yeah. were fresh. Oh, I like the gray. Yep. One of, one of the reasons I kept watching it. Cause, uh, the jerseys? Yeah. At the beginning of the game, I was like, I'm not going to watch it. Like, Duke's going to kill him. No point. And I saw the jerseys, and I was like, okay, I'll stay in tune. And they were up at halftime. I was like, okay, I'll just watch a little bit of the second half. And oh, they ended up winning. So, yeah. Take that, dude. <laughs> it's on. a little college basketball. Well, you think BC will be ranked? Probably not. Not yet. Uh, what's their record? Oh, wait, hold on. Seven and three. Maybe. I don't know. No. Hopefully. That'd be cool. Be a cool thing, you, you know? know? They're going to go They're. they're f- mm, that's too, it's too soon. Too soon, yeah. For what? He asked if they're gonna go dancing. They're seven and three right now. You can't get curious. Okay, but you have to look who they they lost to Nebraska, Providence, and Texas Tech. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, all right. We'll see. Let's go to the NFL. Mm-hmm. A wild day yesterday. It was. Um. Start off with the the snow game. Oh, that was that was fun to watch. Bills, uh, Colts. They were just walking in a winter wonderland. That's what they were doing. Bills ended up winning in overtime. You see Venetary's kick? Yeah. That was like Madden Gauntlet right I, I, there. Huh? That's funny. The linemen. Like <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. Everybody was like kicking the snow away, and then you would see like the Bills players like kicking it back on. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pat McAfee. Shout out Pat uh, McAfee. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out Barstool. Um, it went towards ACL. No. We don't know that yeah, for sure. Well, he oh, he's done. Went towards ACL. R.I.P. Uh. Eagles what does that do to the Eagles season? They're Luke? done. They're done. I mean, they're already in the. Do playoffs. they still win the division? Who's? They have to win one game to win their division. Uh, let me Probably. see. Let me see. They have a good. Oh, game. they already. They won. They already won their division. Yeah, they right? won it last they night. Won yesterday. They have a good okay. running attack. I mean, like running attack. Yeah. Who? Okay. They've done squat this year. Ajayi had that one good game, one good run. One Ajayi. They still have Sproles, right? Sproles. Sproles is long gone. I don't long know. gone silver, man. That's lo- it's long. I John. know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying, point. You can't. Don't count him out. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna count him out. He's way Who's out. Who's their backup? Even, like? I, Nick Foles. Nick, yeah, Nick Foles. Really? Yeah. He he was good four years he was, ago. He was good. <laughs> <Back and down. laughs> no, but the real thing is like all these people are like, oh, I'm an Eagles fan now. They probably like. Oh, oh crap! Like yeah. 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 No, no. They're like, if you ask them who was the quarterback before Wentz, they'd say. Uh, Nick Wolves. Yeah, well, now they will because they know who it is. But before, but he wasn't know. even it before. He they wasn't. had Bradford. There, yeah. you, there you go. You don't even know. Well, fake. I'm not an Eagles fan. <laughs> I was a Cowboys fan last year. Ah, uh, so real quick. <laughs> now I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> um, the MVP race. Yeah. Brady stands alone, but got in, got in a little scuffle last night with uh unnamed. Person that so they said Case Keenum is second place for MVP right now. Do you either of you agree with that? I don't know who that is. So I'm gonna have to Case Keenum. Know. Yep, never heard. Qu- quarterback, quarterback for the Vikings. Oh, <laughs> they, yeah, no, they never heard of offense, him. but 
You should see like all the weapons they have. I mean, I don't, know. I don't think he's him alone. He's no, nah. he, he can't touch Brady. Come on. Well, he physically probably Come could on. touch Brady. So then he started yelling at me, telling me to give my list. So who who are just a couple people you think would be in the MVP race with Brady? Who wants who wants to give you a list? Maybe. Who? This person. Well, was yeah. Uh, right, I'm gonna say his name, Connor Cameron. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, Connor said the Vikings quarterback is in second. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so, who, who? What's a list? You wanna? Brady. I'll give one of each position. Then I think for quarterback, Brady obviously. Running back, it was gonna be Kamara, but he also went down. Come on. I, w- I wouldn't say MVP for Kamara. No, rookie of the year, maybe. I don't know. Dude, you see what he's doing? And yeah, I do see what he's doing. It's receiver. good for a rookie. No way our res- receiver will win, but not this year. Brown would have to be the like the top runner for that. Yeah, well, we're talking MVP. So <laughs> my MVP, I'll go. Maybe Brady's gonna win. Brady's gonna run away with Brady it. Wilson. Um, I said I also said Wilson, and he told me that was stupid. But I told him Case Keenum, and he shut up. Um, but I think Wilson is up there. You can put Gurley in the conversation. I think he's Breeze, been going off yeah, this year. Breeze. Josh Gordon. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, so those two, and but Brady, it doesn't really matter. Brady's. If I were to make a list, I'd say Brady, Brady, Especially Brady, Brady, Brady. Gone. Brady's going to win. Good, good, good list. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, but real talk, Josh Gordon, first real touchdown. <laughs> first touchdown in what, three years, four years? Everyone's like, oh, he's a beast. He's, oh, this, he's, probably, he's, been, a beast. he's probably been working out. He's a beast. No, the best wide receiver in the league. He's, he's back. Like, you guys, everybody's like, oh, he's three years. It's not like he's sitting on his couch for three <laughs> years. He's probably working out every day for three years. All right, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. okay yeah. Like, everybody's, like, freaking out. Like, that's expected. If he did that when he left, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able well, to do it when he came like back. He was playing football when he was good. Exactly. What well, you got to say now? Nothing, because yeah. he probably was probably getting right. like, running routes, getting passes. Sick. I can run, too. <laughs> He had Brady thrown to him. Game over. Game over. He was Kaiser. Kaiser, Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go to the MLB. Wait, Luke, do you know who that is? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leave him. Leave him alone. Figure it out. I'll tell you after. Uh, MLB Stanton. Traded to the Yankees. Not, not yet. It's not official yet. Stanton traded to the Yankees. Unofficially. Otani. Signed with the Angels. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, could, I don't give a darn who <laughs> the Otani signed with. <laughs> but stand to the Yankees. Tell me you didn't wake up Saturday morning. Well, I woke up and, and I just sh- wanted to die. Now, that's what I no, wanted I to do. Far, Easy. No, I wanted, I wanted no, to. No, I mean, I'm upset. I, I wanted to die. I'm upset. I knew he wasn't going to come to Boston, but I did not think not he'd be Yankees. going to the Yankees. I thought, honestly, I thought he was going to go to the Dodgers. Was it you who said... That Derek Jeter doesn't care about that's the Yankees. That's not why he did that's that. That's what you that's said, right? Did you say that? that? No, that's not why he did that. But did you say that? He did say that. So I think it's kind of no. weird how Jeter's first big move, he sent a, his best player to the Yankees for almost nothing. It's a coincidence. Okay, that's, oh, that's, that's a hell of a coincidence. It, for nothing? That's they a have, hell of a they coincidence. They have to take that whole contract. Do you see? Do you guys follow? Okay, they didn't get anything in return. That's not the point. They are trading to get rid of the contract. They weren't trading to get good people in return. They sure. needed that's to get, so stupid. They needed to clear cap space. No, that's yeah, I, I get it, but you. That's why they did it. I'm not saying it makes sense, but that's why they did it. So I saw what Carabas said about this. Jared Carabas, Barstool, my shout boy, out, my boy, my boy too. Say, but yeah. uh, weekend, you went to Winter Weekend last year, didn't yep. you? Right? Did you meet him? No, I didn't meet him. Okay. Okay, so he said at the end of his rant about standing, he goes. Poppy should go buy the Angels and trade us Mike Trout for nothing. That's no. That's basically what Jeter did. Say, well, we want to clear sign him to a big deal. Say, we want to clear cap space to give him for like trade like Devin Marrero or something. Did you see his tweet about the next the next post from the Red Sox? It's probably gonna be like yeah. an ad for tickets. And then it was, and then then it was rivalry. rivalry. Oh my god. That's bad. That was bad. Nah, really bad. Red Sox like they're they're screwed before. I mean, they were in a bad spot before. Let's be shot up, but. <laughs> But now they're in an even worse spot because um, it's bad. Yeah, the Stanton and Judge combined almost had the same number of home runs the Red Sox did all last year. Yeah, these are the one team he didn't want him to go to. Exactly. Well, no, I, I didn't want him to go to any teams besides the Red Sox. If I'm gonna be honest. Well, because I only have to play him 18 times a year. Yeah, we're we're 
18, 0 and 18. So there's the Red Sox should start the season 0 and 18. Not play the Yankees at all. Yeah, not play the Yankees skip at em. all. Skip them <laughs> and then we'll build, we'll go from there. But now the Red Sox need a bat in their lineup. And the four people who they were trying to get. Yeah. Otani. No. Signed with the Angels. They I, were trying okay, to get him. Okay, yep. Yeah, but he would he would have done jack. Otani signed with the Angels. You don't hear about him again. Stanton to the Yankees. Oh, also White uh, Sox came out and said they don't want to trade Abreu, and now all that's left is JD Martinez. JD know. Martinez is not the bat that we need. Yeah, but he'd help. Okay. I'm not. Hey, he wasn't my nowhere, first option. Nowhere near. We needed John Carlos We needed Stan. <laughs> yeah. But JD Martinez is a start. Okay. He's he's old though. Ooh, Red Sox make Jackie Bradley Jr. available in trade talks. Yeah. Well, Good. Um. Thanks. Back what I said about Otani, my boy Jared Carabas, the man from Saugus Mass. What's up, Jared? Um. He said that on their podcast. He was like. A one place where a superstar would go that they did like and people wouldn't want to like nobody would hear about is lot is the Angels. And guess where he went? The, the Angels. Angels. Mike Trout is the best player in the MLB and you never hear anything about him. It's also I'm seeing online the Red Sox are interested in Schwarber. Would you want him? Yeah, they they're talking about him in trade talks with uh Bradley. That's when they came out and said Bradley was on the table. Well, Cuz they're talking to the I'd Cubs. I think Schwarber, yeah. Somebody. Again, not the bat, not the one, like, it's not like we get him and, like, all our problems are solved. No, but he could help. But he, yeah, sure, he would help. If we can get him and Martinez or him and Hosmer together, I think we got Hosmer would we be. Wouldn't, we, we're not, we're not going to win the division. You the Yan- no, the Yankees are going to win the division. Unless you can't no, predict an injury. Get if someone gets no, injured, No, no, that's why I'm saying it's unofficial. Oh, Kyle Schwarber from the Cubs? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think Stanton and Judge will both be, like, as good. No, Judge is judge, – Judge, so, like, if you look at his second-half numbers, that's what it's going to be, like, all next year. People forget that in the second half. He did probably, like, barely One anything. of them is – Because of the Derby. Good. That's not why. Because people figured him out. No, it messes up your swing. Because of the Derby. That's – well, okay, that's but what about, like, when Josh Hamilton hit, like, a 1,000 home runs of home run derby, oh, and he was still good for, like, eight year years after that? Why do you think, like, Bryce he, Harper doesn't – Gets, always gets asked to do the home run derby. He says no because it messes up your swing. Though. That's what people say. I don't think it's home. true. Okay. Depends. Um, but real quick. No. Otani, I, I can't wait till he – because he thinks he can be a pitcher and a hitter and a oh, fielder. Yeah. I can't wait till he steps in the box and he's in the same division. He's going to have to play Felix Hernandez. He's going to have to play Dallas Keuchel, Justin Verlander. I can't wait till he gets in the box and Verlander tosses him a 97-mile-an-hour fastball and he's like – what did I just do? No, I he... He's going to tire, too. You can't pitch and then play the next No, he is. No, he's going to bat in his off days. He's going to DH in his off days. Or he's going to pitch. And he's, pitch I, yeah. I, he's not going to be good at no, all. No, I don't think so either. Ever. That's why I didn't want to... All Japanese players, every single person, except for... Two. Except for Ichiro. 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 Yeah. And who else? Hideki Matsui. Ma- ma- I was about to say, Tanaka, maybe Yuihara, Matsui. Okajima. Yuihara was good for two years. Even Ma- Matsui that. was good for like two or three years. No, he wasn't Matsui. that good. Hideki Matsui? He was solid. He had like that one year where he smacked like 55 home runs. That was it. Like Ichiro and I, I'd, I'd probably say Hideki Matsui. Those two are the only two Japanese players that have like gone on and had good careers. Every other, like Daisuke, good for two years. Then he, he's, he's trash now. Well, he got hurt. That's why. Koji. Two years, see you later. Don is dice K now. Yeah, I don't think he plays. He's, he's in. Yeah, I think he just retired from Japan this really? past year. Yeah. Who else? Tanaka was good his first year. Last year he wasn't that good. Yeah, I mean, he's not bad he's now, but like. Okay, so he's not good. <laughs> uh, I mean, out. I mean, you could. You Darvish, he's pretty good. Yeah, you can throw him in there. But like, there's only a handful. All I the mean, Japanese players that come over, there's only a handful. That like really are actually succeed. good. There's two, three. I well, okay. I'd only put two in the in it. Who? Hideki Matsu and Ichiro. You don't think you Darvish is good? Not like they. He's are. been consistent. Obviously not yet. He's been good. Yeah, like but consistently four years. average. But like Ichiro okay. was like really right. good. You know what I mean? Hideki Matsu was really. I'm good I'm not too. saying like Darvish is struggling, but he's not like an elite pitcher. He's, he's pretty damn good. Though. He's pretty yeah. good. All right. Uh, let's go to our question of the week. Uh, question of the week is brought to you by Subway. Eat fresh. <laughs> All right, question of the week. Okay, question of the week. What is your most okay, memorable? What is your most memorable sports moment ever? 
Luke, you want to I'm going to say uh, when Malcolm Butler pick, picked it off in the end zone to win Super Bowl 49. You know, it's it's like an easy one to say, but that meant so much to the city and everything. No, it didn't. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. Like, go ahead, go ahead, Luke. It's that, your turn. That shows that, that that is an example of you never give up in a game because they were, if they scored right there, if Seattle scored right there, it was game over. They won the Super Bowl, but the pit, the patch just kept fighting, and we got another Super Bowl. Question. It's a good one. What? How did it mean so much to the city? Like, are you referring to a specific thing that happened? So they won the Super Bowl and nobody cared? But <laughs> oh, my God. I, I think it means, like... And it showed Brady still... Right, I was going to say, Bowl, it's like Brady. Yeah. I, that's what you meant. It me- meant yeah. a lot for the Patriots because they were, like... Yeah started this dynasty and they like then they had that undefeated season they lost and then they lost the Giants again everyone's like oh Brady people are figuring out Brady and Belichick and then boom they started out like 2-2 and and yeah here's the thing about the Patriots though are we too overconfident about them no so you like you think they're for sure shot for the Super Bowl yeah they will be in the Super Bowl not a doubt in my mind okay I I think they'll play the Steelers they'll play the Steelers and they have to jam it it'll be a good game but at the end of the day, we have Tom Brady, we have Bill Belichick, they have Ben Roethlisberger and Mike Tomlin. <laughs> All right, Belichick plus Brady well, is no, better than. I'm not than doubting that they're gonna right. beat them, but I'm okay. saying like, do you think there's even? A, nah, nah, that was a stupid question. Yeah. Give them about it. I give them about a fifteen percent chance they don't make it to the Super Bowl. How about that? No, but they're gonna be the Steelers by like seventy, so it doesn't matter. All right. All right. Cam, uh, what's yours? Mine. I mean, I don't really remember it, but. I know a lot about it. In 04, when the Red Sox were down 3-0 to the Yankees and they came back and went 4-3, and they went on to win their first World Series in a really long time. Don't know the exact year on that, but, yeah, that's fine. All right. Uh, I'm going to go the 2013 Red Sox um, World Series run, just in general. But specifically, if I had to pick one moment, it's Poppy's Grand Slam. With uh, those, what's his name, Tory Hunter, Hunter, Tory Hunter, flipping over the yeah the, the bullpen and the, the cop like that. I mean, tied up the game. I mean, I I remember I was sitting on my couch watching the game. I'll never forget that image. And um, just like the whole World Series run in general, it was 2013. There was after the marathon bombing, mm-hmm. the whole Boston Strong thing. I was at the game on Marathon Monday. Oh yeah, you were. So, uh, this is true. Yep, this is true. But, so, like, I had, like, and then their, I remember their first game after the marathon bombing. They were in Cleveland, I think. Yeah. They had the 617. Mm-hmm. So, like, basically that whole year, but specifically the World Series run. Yeah. And that's a championship that act- that meant a lot to the city. And they, yeah. they did not have it. Like, nobody going into the season was like, oh, this team's yeah, going to yeah. do it. Right. That's not. I think the marathon bombing, like, drove them. I don't know, they, they played together. They played with heart. They didn't yep. have, like, a powerful lineup either. Though. Yeah. They didn't have, like, a bunch of superstars. They had people like Victorino, Napoli, Gomez who just stepped right. up. Johnny Gomez, Mike Napoli, <laughs> Jared LaSalta Gobble Goosey. <laughs> Salty. Okay. So, yeah, that was mine. It's a good question of the week, I think. Brought to you by Subway. Eat fresh. Eat fresh. Let's go to our social media. Whoa, who Whoa. wants to start? Luke, Whoa. why don't you get us started? Whoa. Uh... They're going to have to see the clip for this one. But I saw when after... Oh, by the way, real quick. Sorry. Uh, my social video, whoa, two weeks ago was the SNL skit. And if you guys watched it, I said, like, we're going to roll the tape. And it just went black and then it came back. So the story <laughs> behind that <coughs> is uh, we got copyrighted, all right? So, like, you can't... If you ever want to, like, do something like that, just don't put more than 20 seconds worth of something as a video. I put a minute and a half of that yeah. skit, and it was down in five minutes. So just wanted to explain myself to you guys. I'm sorry. I thought it was Cam. I blamed Cam at first, <laughs> and then I realized it was me. So I'm sorry about that. Luke, you can go. Mine is uh, shortly after Baker Mayfield won the Heisman. It shows him going on the stage and it's like, playing music in the background, and he jams the Heisman flag onto the stage. I just thought it was funny. You're going to have to see the clip for that. Okay. Wasn't that funny, but that's all right. Uh, Cam? Uh, my social media, well, 
is this dude from Louisiana. Wait, I think. Hold on. I don't know. So there's this dude sitting in his car, right? And he's like, oh, this is fake snow and everything like that. And then it's like hitting the windshield. He's like, oh, in snow, it's like a movie like cartwheels and stuff like that. And then uh, he's going to get into the house and he slips and he like spills his drink on him and stuff and his Chick fil A and stuff. So that was my uh, social media, though. Okay, we're going to show the clip for that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get copyrighted for that. No. No? Okay. Uh, my social media wall was Aaron Judge's tweet. Um, minutes after Sir Carlos Stanton got traded and he tweeted hey at is that what I'm doing mm-hmm. okay uh, he said hey John Carlos Stanton at John Carlos Stanton 818 dot 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 <laughs> knuckles <laughs> and he said do we just become best friends yep and you know that just made me sad me to be honest with you I'm just popping. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I just pop. Uh, yeah. So it's a depressing one, but. I miss Ted Williams. All right, that's uh. <laughs> I miss Babe <Pim laughs> Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to our callers as we always ring, do. Ring. We got Come Ben from. Question. We, we got Ben from Dover. Ben. Ben. Benny! I just right. want to know, do you guys still think that the Eagles have a good shot at the Super Bowl? No. Uh, Absolutely not. No. I didn't, I didn't think they had a good shot even with Yeah, I, I thought they were going to be like the Cowboys last yeah. year. Just really, you, really yeah. exciting. I think Luke was a Cowboys fan last year. Yeah. Uh, Eagles fan this year. <laughs> Eagles fan this year. No, like so, that. Yeah, you are. I'm a, I'm a uh, fan who's our next caller, Luke? We got Carl from Boston. Carl. Cal. Hi, guys. How you doing? I have a question for Derek. What's up? Do you like Barstool? I do. <laughs> I thought yes. there's another part to that question. <laughs> but yes, I like Barstool. You? Do you like Barstool? I'm a very big fan of it. That's good. Who's your favorite? Uh, Prez. Prez? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Obviously not a big fan of Barstool. <laughs> okay, uh, who's our next caller, Cam? <laughs> who's our next caller, Cam? <laughs> we have... Mike from Winfield. Mike, how's it going? Hello. Hey. Hi. I have a question for all three of you. What's all up? Right, what's up? Never mind. You want to just talk? Just want to say something? Um, it's a beautiful day out today. It is. I agree. Yeah, and I think Cam is more beautiful than the day out. Oh, wow, that's you nice. Fan. You have a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's our next caller, Luke? Cam, okay, I think you have oh, I, think so. oh. I think I'm with someone who you know. Here's your mother. Hi, Cam. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, who said yeah. Mikey shouldn't go yeah. on the mic? Who said Mike? Uh, we got next caller is Poland from Springfield. What's what's his name? Poland from Springfield. Poland, Poland from Springfield. Hey, guys. Hey, how oh. you doing? <laughs> Jimmy G. 2-0, how do you guys feel about that? Jimmy Good. G is 2-0. Cam, what do you have to explain? Two wins is two wins. I mean... 2-0 and is 2-0 and as well. He's the best Cuba. best win percentage in franchise history. Just saying. He's yeah. at 1,000. He's also played two games. He's also at 1,000. He's played 20. He's also he's undefeated. He's undefeated. Thanks, you said he's bad. Poland from Springfield. Poland. Okay, Next we got up. one <laughs> singular more caller. Let's do a couple. Let's last. Do a couple. All right, fine. Let's do a couple. We got... Uh, let's see, we'll see how this one goes. Let's keep it going. This way... Oh, his name's Pura Fiat, I think, from uh, Waterville. Pura Fiat. Pura Fiat. Pura Fiat. Pura. P.F. My question is, what would you... <coughs> oh, excuse you. Uh, yeah, what would you do <laughs> if the Patriots lost this year? What? Whoa. Okay. If the Patriots uh, lost this year, I wouldn't care that much. Uh, they're not going to lose this year, so... I'm not going to answer that yeah, question. It's not going to happen. We need a realistic question. But, uh... Let's just go one more caller because that kind of scared me. I'm a little Gosh. scared now. Let's do a bunch of just, just <laughs> Who's our next funny. caller? Who is our next caller? We got uh, Gabe from Jacksonville. Gabe? Jacksonville. What's um, that? I'm just wondering, like, out of all of you, like, who's your favorite? Like, what team is your favorite in the college <laughs> basketball? 
<laughs> what team is our <laughs> favorite? So I know. The, the, the calm down the there. What was his name? I know. Gabe. Gabe, <laughs> Gabe you got to calm <laughs> down. So get those, My get favorite those jitters out of there. The Bears what of Baylor ask? University. What do you ask? <laughs> Favorite your favorite team college, college basketball, basketball team. BC beating Duke. B- BC beating Duke. That's your favorite team. <laughs> <laughs> no, BC. I'm, Duke. I'm gonna go Texas. Muhammad Bamba. Ben have a day. Old Texas. Cares? Wang. Cares? They ranked no. Uh, we have one more caller. No, Luke. Who's the next caller? Last one. Our last caller is Peter from Peter. Peterville. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just want your um, predictions for the uh, World Series. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that, household? <laughs> World Series, let's see. Sorry, I forgot to feed the cat. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. World Series. Uh, Shut up! We know what's going on in there. Off! Mute! 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 Teams and score. It's freaking awesome. Teams and score. I'm going to go Yankees. Over the Dodgers in six. All right, I'm going to tell you why you're Sox. wrong. We're keeping this video. All right. Yankees over the Dodgers in six. Right here. You heard it here first. Red Sox oh. are going to sweep the Dodgers. Sweep the Dodgers. Luke, what do you got? I actually like that question. I just got, mm. Sorry for ducking you. Uh, what was his name? No. Peter. Peter from Peterville. I'm sorry. Red Sox, and you're going to call me crazy, over the Diamondbacks. Crazy. Oh, very crazy. Six. In six. He's got six. Uh, I think mine's the most realistic, but that's You're all right. wrong. That's cool. Kay. See you in a year. That's it for Real Hawk. That's it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I missed it. Whoop. Have a day. Stop. <laughs>